Well, the uh, parts I, replacement parts I ordered, that is, came in. The other board with the bad memory slot, I tested that with a different CPU, same issue. So, this is the new board. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> but, uh, I just threw it together in this uh, case because I didn't want to take the other one out of its case. But, time to see if this works. No smoke, no flames, please. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I just hit push button hard enough. So, will we get post? The uh, packaging for this motherboard was terrible. Uh, the box is barely bigger than the board. So, I'm a little scared. But I'm hopeful. Please? <laughs> It's gonna take an hour for it to wake up. Come on, you can do it. Oh boy, there we go, wide angle. Now I can see them both. Oh, <laughs> nervous. There was a tiny little bit of uh, thermal paste in the socket, which was fantastic, but uh, I just decided that I'm not going to try it to even humor the idea of getting it out because there's so many pins in that socket. I wonder... I doubt the IPMI has been reset, but uh, I'm going to plug into the IPMI and see if I get a light. Yeah, that's working. The question is, is it trying to post or is something wrong? As long as it's not frying my CPU, that's, that's about, well, and my memory. <laughs> that's the biggest thing I care about. Oh, man. Yeah, something was dropped on the box this board was in, so, um... Yeah, yeah. I feel like this shouldn't take two minutes to post either. Alright, forced it off. So, when in doubt, the easiest thing to do is scream and shout. Just kidding. Um, I'm just going to pull all the memory here. This has a uh, buzzard on board, so um, in theory, a good motherboard will do a no memory beep after I pull the memory. It's precarious to do in this case. It's not going to be better in the rack case though because it's going to be equally tight. Alright, so... If the memory, or the motherboard is good, and the memory's gone, it should beep. I don't know why it takes a second to respond to the power button. There we go. Well, that's not a good sign. The other thing I can do is clear the CMOS, but the CMOS, uh, shouldn't uh, need to be cleared to do a no memory beep. I don't know if a CPU is required for a no memory beep though. The CPU in there is good because I tested it on H11 board. I'm pretty sure this build is just cursed at this point. I'm going to have to reseat the CPU more than likely. This is the next thing we can do. I don't know if that CMOS battery is out long enough, but hope so. Come on.
can't tell if that blinking is pattern or not. I think it's just network activity. I don't think it can do error codes through that network light. That'd be kind of funny. But, but it looks like I get to reseed the CPU. Um, and uh, I don't know. This is really disappointing and frustrating at the same time. Well, as you can see, this board is no longer in the case. And that's because the BMC is dead and ooh, will it focus? I don't know. <laughs> um, there's physical damage on this board. Oop. So you can see those uh, copper traces are exposed there. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get close enough, but uh, U6 is damaged. Corner of it's missing. So not sure what that's about. Um, this does post, but it takes forever, and basically what I've been told is the BMC isn't getting voltage, so it's not booting, so the motherboard keeps trying to wait for the BMC to do its thing, and then finally just gives up and does a normal post sequence, which means no video on the uh, VGA output, no fan speed control, and whatever else the BMC controls. So, uh, yeah, I strike out again. This board's actually worse off than my last board that I bought. So I gotta return this one and the other one still, which is, yeah, whatever. But, uh, can't catch a break.